When the pitch black night still covered the world, the eternal ice mountain had already existed. In that place, with an extremely cold climate, lived many mythical creatures that few knew about. After thousands of years, from deep within the ice mountain emerged the embodiment of eternal ice, the Ice Queen Isa. Every day, Queen Isa's duty was to ensure that the ice covered the entire mountain for the living creatures. Not long after, the Sun Tribe appeared in the sky <laughs> with the mission to bring light to help the world escape the eternal darkness. <laughs> However, the son of the sun, the warrior Anwar, extremely ambitious and arrogant, believed he stood above all species. He wanted to showcase his power, so he commanded the Sun Tribe warriors to conquer all lands including the region of the Eternal Ice Mountain. The Eternal Ice Mountain would melt when the sun approached too closely, and everything born from the Ice Mountain could not survive. To protect this region, Queen Issa and the sun warrior Anwar had endless battles day after day. Attack! You overestimate your strength. As a result, Anwar's youthful strength never defeated the queen. Thousands of years passed with such familiar work, and Queen Issa began to feel loneliness and a desire for someone to talk to. Snow, I can create a small life form from this snowflake to be a companion for me. So, with the magic and love of Issa, the snow princess Whiny was born. Whiny, cute and adorable, was carefully nurtured by Queen Issa and adored by all the creatures in the Ice Mountain. <laughs> Apart from the Ice Mountain area, Isa took Whiny to human villages to let the little princess see the world beyond. There, Whiny saw other children and their parents were playing <laughs> joyfully. Dad, Mom, <gasps> come here quickly! Queen Isa, does everyone have parents? Who are my parents? Whiny, huh? you are not like other children. You are a small snowflake created by my magic mm. and love. <laughs> so you are my mother! Thank you for bringing me into this world. Queen Isa felt the love and connection with this little life for the first time. But suddenly, huh? Whiny fainted. The little girl was gradually melting because she had been away from the ice mountain for too long. Queen Isa quickly used her magic to preserve Whiny's life and brought her back to the ice mountain. At that moment, Anwar unexpectedly huh? attacked Queen Isa. Having lost several times, he decided to find Queen Issa's weak point to be able to defeat her. When Whiny collapsed, he saw Queen Issa worried and less vigilant, so he decided to attack. Queen Issa fought bravely, trying to protect Whiny, easily defeated him, and quickly brought the princess back to the Ice Mountain. Queen Issa created a cloak from eternal ice for Whiny. With this cloak, she wouldn't melt when going outside anymore. One day, while playing under the ice mountain, huh? Whiny saw a boy scared in front of a large polar bear. Hey, polar bear! Don't scare the boy like that! Go home quickly! The polar bear listened to the snow princess and left, but the boy kept crying. Whiny tried to console him, but it had no effect. What did you do to my son? Huh? The boy's father rushed over, saw his son crying, thought Whiny had made him cry, scolded her, <laughs> and took the boy away, leaving Whiny alone. The snow princess hmm. sat there and cried sadly, not understanding what she had done wrong. I didn't do anything to the boy. If I had a dad, he would protect me like the boy's dad, wouldn't he? Right at this moment, Anwar appeared, shining brightly, and comforted the huh? snow princess. Good princess, don't cry. Who are you? Hello, I am Anwar, a friend of Queen Issa. I saw you rescue that boy earlier. Don't cry. You did nothing wrong. Come on, let me take you to play. Anwar's comforting mm. words made Whiny more excited, <laughs> and she agreed to go with him. She was taken to the village of humans, where she enjoyed delicious food and played to her heart's content. Huh? Thank you, Sir Anwar. Today is so much fun. If I had a dad, he would probably treat me as nicely as you do. So, do you want to continue playing with me? <laughs> yes, of course! Then keep it a secret from Queen Isa. 
we have a little conflict. Wait for me to reconcile with Isa, and then the three of us will go out together. Okay, I really hope the three of us can go out together one day. From then on, Anwar occasionally made appointments to meet Whiny and explore interesting and new things together. Recently, <laughs> Whiny played outside more than before, but Queen Issa was still comfortable letting her go out. Oh, I'm late! I'm going out to play, Issa! Until that fateful day, Whiny left in a hurry and forgot her ice cloak. Issa quickly chased after her, searching for the snow princess, and suddenly heard a loud scream <gasps> that made her accelerate her pursuit. Issa arrived and saw Whiny slowly huh? melting in the radiance of Anwar. Mm. Anger surged within Issa, and she attacked Anwar with her most powerful eternal ice magic. Unexpectedly, the queen huh? found Whiny jumping out to shield Anwar, <gasps> causing her to turn into an ice block. Both Issa and Anwar were surprised by Whiny's actions. Issa approached to force Anwar to use his sun power to melt the ice block, but it didn't work. You know, Issa, to melt the eternal ice, you need to bring Whiny closer to the sun. If I bring Winnie close to the sun, I will melt too. Is this your plan, Anwar? You really want to destroy me to the point of harming the innocent girl? Calm down, Issa. I also cherish Whiny a lot. Let me call the sun closer here. While the sun melts the ice around Whiny, you use your power to protect the ice mountain. Issa, to save Princess Whiny, agreed hmm. to Anwar's plan. <laughs> In return, she forced Anwar to wear an eternal ice ring to limit his power and prevent him from damaging the ice mountain. Queen Issa took Anwar, making him focus on calling the sun. Then, Issa went to create many layers of snow to protect the creatures in the ice mountain when the sun got closer. Finally, the sun came closer. Queen Issa brought Whiny in front of the sun and used her power to protect the remaining part of the ice mountain. The ice blocks surrounding Whiny gradually disappeared. Queen Issa also weakened in the face of the sun's heat. Seizing this opportunity, Anwar rushed to pull Issa towards the sun. Huh? Anwar, you cunning trickster! The closer he got to the sun, the weaker Queen Issa became, while Anwar grew stronger. He successfully broke Issa's ice seal and continued to drag her closer to the sun. The sun stayed near the ice mountain longer than initially expected. The snow and ice began to melt, causing the creatures living in the ice mountain to panic. Whiny's ice block also melted almost completely. The princess used all her strength to successfully break free from the ice. In the sky, Queen Issa was struggling to fight, trying to escape Anwar and fly back to the ice mountain. Whiny noticed the urgency and quickly put on her ice cloak to help Queen Issa. Queen Issa huh? saw Whiny healthy and joyful, <laughs> feeling relieved. She flew to hug Whiny tightly. My Whiny, luckily you're okay. Mother Issa, I'm sorry for hmm. making you worry. The moment of reunion did not last long. Huh? Anwar, furious, turned back and rushed to decisively destroy the two. The two together unleashed a powerful snow magic, defeating Anwar and turning him into countless small snowflakes. The sun gradually moved away from the ice mountain. Queen Issa and Princess Whiny used their powers to restore the icy land and bring all creatures back. I don't have a father, but it's okay. Hmm. The love and care for Mother hmm. Issa is more than enough. Issa and Whiny continued to live happily together in this icy snow mountain. Once upon a time in a faraway kingdom, there lived a beautiful princess named Alida. She has an amazing source of magic, given to her by a fairy godmother since childhood, which was to bring life to things. <laughs> Not only that, since childhood, Alida had been taught by her parents to always love people, so she was very close to them. <laughs> <laughs> because of that, she had the opportunity to meet Kevin, a poor but very kind and hardworking guy. <gasps> Gradually, the two became more and more attached after hanging out together. 
especially sharing a passion for painting. <laughs> During a tour of the arid suburbs of the kingdom, Alida saw an old woman falling on the road and hurriedly took her to the car to take her home deep in the forest. I have heard people say that you were a gentle and kind princess for a long time, but I did not expect that today to have the opportunity to meet and receive the help of the princess like this, which makes me very grateful. You're welcome. That is the duty and heart of a princess towards the beloved people of the kingdom. The old woman was pleased to hear Alida's sincere words. She nodded and took out a magic ball. I heard that the princess has the ability to give life to objects. So I want to repay you by giving you another kind of magic. You can talk and heal all kinds of plants and animals. <laughs> Thus, the more you save all the lives around you, the more famous you will be for your kind heart. Sounds good. But can I possess that magic? Mm. Yes, but in return, you need to give me a drop of blood to activate the power. Is that okay? Hearing the old woman's <laughs> nice words, Alida nodded in agreement and reached out to touch the needle to activate the power. Suddenly, a mysterious huh? light shone around, entering the princess in front of the mysterious smile of the old woman. <laughs> After the transfer was completed, Alida tested the spell on a nearby dry tree. Huh? Just like that, the tree came to life and danced in front of her. The princess was very happy. Then she said goodbye to the old woman and returned. Seeing Alida gone, the old woman immediately became a dark witch. It turned out that because of jealousy of the princess's beauty and ability, this witch had always wanted to harm her. However, the magic of the witch family did not allow her to directly take anyone's life. So she had to practice a curse that made the princess go through a lot of suffering and depression to the point of giving up on her own life. I look forward to the day that Alida uses this new ability for the hundredth time. At that time, she will have a serious incurable disease that will make her depressed and the day she will leave this earth will soon be! <laughs> However, Alida did not know this. So day by day, she and Kevin still used this ability to help people. <laughs> One day, when Alida was preparing to revive a withered rose, suddenly there were dark auras radiating from her hand. What? What happened? Why did the rose become wilted and burn? Ah, uh, my hand and my head. It hurts! Before she could realize what was happening, she fainted. Kevin nearby saw this and quickly carried the princess back to the palace. Many doctors came to see Alida, but everyone shook their heads, unable to find the cause and cure for the disease. The princess lay in bed every day listening to this. Her mind was extremely depressed. She did not want to go anywhere, and she wanted to give up more and more. Kevin, maybe we'll be like the roses out there, and one day we'll fade away too. And maybe I can't live with you all my life and happily help people like before. I feel my body getting weaker and weaker, and I'm scared. Alita, please don't give up your smile and optimism. I will definitely find a way to save you. Alita said nothing, sighed, and handed Kevin the rose, and fell asleep. Mm. After Alita slept, Kevin hurriedly said to the king and queen that he would go find the fairy godmother to save Alita, because he thought that she was a wise fairy. There would definitely mm. be a way to save the princess. Mm. Before leaving, Kevin also asked Alita's oh. parents for a request. Mm. Please take good care of Alita's rose garden, because those roses are the trust and life of the princess at this time. <laughs> Okay, I'll have someone take good care of the garden before you come back. 
<laughs> hmm. After that, Kevin set out to find the fairy godmother. However, uh, this was known to the witch, so she quickly cast a spell, creating a lot of traps in Kevin's way. <laughs> Although Kevin tried to fight back, he was still defeated. <clears throat> While in danger, the creatures that Alita and Kevin had helped before with the fairy godmother came to rescue him. After partially controlling the witch and seeing the fairy godmother, Kevin quickly recounted the situation and begged for help. <gasps> okay, but the flower in your hand is Alita's? Can I take a look? Because I can feel the dark energy coming from there. Yes. As the fairy godmother thought, the witch's curse was so great that her magic was repelled. However, there was a sound coming from the rose, and the fairy godmother smiled hopefully. Although I can't directly lift Alita's curse, I know how to save the little princess. Alita was born and blessed with the ability to bring things to life, even plants and animals. So the only thing that can bring her back to life is for Alita to fight and regain her faith in life. And here is the magic pen. It will help you and Alita to find that belief in life again. I understand. Thank you very much. The witch was furious that Kevin was saved by the fairy godmother, uh, and she remained steadfast in her uh, curse and believed the princess would wither over time. As for Kevin, on the way back to the palace, he encountered a big storm, and when he arrived, the rose garden was almost completely withered, and only one rose remained. Alita! Kevin, you're back. Look, the roses have gradually withered. If it continues mm. to rain tonight, and that rose falls, maybe it's also to mourn my passing. No, Alita. Don't think like that. I and all people, creatures, and animals are still wishing you a speedy recovery, so you and they can laugh together. So please stay positive. However, although Alita was moved a little when she heard the words of encouragement, perhaps that was not enough for her. Kevin could only suffer, helplessly sitting beside her and looking at the stormy sky. That night, a thunderclap woke Kevin up, and Alita was in a nightmare. Kevin looked at the rose in panic, trying to withstand the storm, and suddenly the magic pen in his body lit up as if it wanted him to use it. Mm -hmm. Suddenly, he thought of using a magic mm. pen to draw a rose hanging in front of the window to help Alida have more motivation to live. However, as soon as the flower was painted, a miracle flashed, turning the flower into a beautiful flower and bringing the warm morning sun to shine everywhere. At that time, the princess also woke up and saw the last magical rose still shining after the rainstorm. Kevin, after that storm, that rose is still so resilient to survive? That's right. That's the power of believing in the miracles of life, Alita. If even that little spirit has the strength to endure hardships, then I will also try to fight the disease and move on! Gradually, <laughs> Alita's health seemed to be restored, and happily stick to Kevin, like in the old days. <gasps> Especially when the princess touched that magical rose, the whole rose garden suddenly lit up and became lush. <laughs> this flower has magic? Why is that? It's due to the miracle of this magic pen. After that, Kevin told Alita the whole Stormy Day story. I hope you won't blame me for hiding this from you, but that's what I can do to help you have the same faith in life as before. I... No, through all this, I have come to understand how important optimism and positive thinking are in life. Thank you for sacrificing so much for me. In the end, Alita happily <laughs> hugged Kevin because of the good things he did for her. In particular, Alita's parents also understood the sincerity of their love and decided to give the couple a wedding reward.
And then, Alita and Kevin's happy wedding finally took place, with the blessings of the people of the kingdom. Once upon a time, in a fairyland, there lived a beautiful and gentle fairy princess named Edna. In particular, Edna also possessed the magic of spreading the love for all living things, including humans, when she was a child. So she was loved by the people. <laughs> On her 18th birthday, Edna was given the flying bow of love in front of the magic heart of the land, with the blessing of the elder fairy, her parents, and the people of the land. Edna, this is the treasure of love. It will help you to huh? match beautiful loves in our land. <laughs> so, I hope that you can take on well the role of managing the love destiny of all things in the near future. I promise to do my best. However, while Edna was happy, <laughs> she didn't know that the shadow always watching her from behind, who was carrying evil thoughts on her big day. Well, Edna, your smile will soon fade away. Because I, Hilda, will not let you enjoy this joy and happiness for long. <laughs> As it turned out, the one who was jealous of Edna was none other than Hilda, the fairy of envy. Eighteen years ago, two fairies, Edna and Hilda, were born on the same day. But unlike the princess, Hilda had the dark power of envy. Although the elder had used many methods to suck the dark aura from Hilda, it was still unsuccessful. And since then, Hilda had grown up in hate and seen by many as a superfluous, unhelpful fairy. Therefore, her envy and jealousy were growing, especially for Edna, an elite fairy with the gift of giving love. <laughs> Even though she was a fairy, Hilda silently managed to get to the place where the Dark Witch, who was sealed by the Elder in the gloomy forest a few days before her 18th birthday. Taking the opportunity that the people were busy preparing for huh? Edna's huh? birthday party, Hilda sneaked into the gloomy forest of the witch. <laughs> Upon arrival, Hilda expressed her wish to throw away her powers to the witch. Dear Hilda, do you really want to give up the power of envy? It's rare to see a fairy with this amazing magic like me. Don't be friendly with me. This hateful magic has caused me enough trouble. I don't want it anymore, and I want to change this power with Princess Edna of this land. Therefore, I will trade everything to get more dark power from you to defeat Edna and win the power of love on the princess's 18th birthday. Seeing the dark magic radiating from Hilda, the dark witch felt amused and nodded in agreement. <laughs> okay. I'll give you the opportunity to swap the powers of the two of you if you agree to bring Edna here after you've done your job. Hmm? Is that all it takes? I am willing to accept the conditions. <laughs> after receiving a part of dark power from the Dark Witch, Hilda quietly joined Edna's party and waited for the right moment to cause trouble. <laughs> However, Hilda did not know that it was her envy that caused the magic hearts to be affected and cracked. Huh? Just like that, every day Hilda watched the princess and disrupted her work of connecting huh? love. Huh? <laughs> every couple Edna had just blessed, she silently shot them with envy magic, huh? making them hate each other and quarrel. Uh, huh? uh. Since then, people began to spread bad rumors huh? about Edna. Well, Princess Edna inherently has the power of love that heaven and earth bestowed upon her. She even owns the bow of love, but she can't do anything well. Yes, the arrow she shot also cost me and my boyfriend to have disagreements with each other. It's useless! Could it be? Huh? Is there a problem huh? with my love power? 
But I clearly remember that before uh. I left, the couples were still having fun together. Mm. Besides, mm. she's emitting a strange dark smoke, very different from my magic. Mm. No, I have to figure this out. Suspecting something shady, Edna was determined to find the person who ruined everything. This time, after giving her power of love, she deliberately lingered in the bushes and discovered that a dark force had flown towards the couple just married. Edna panicked, quickly fired magic at the sneak, and realized it was Hilda, the fairy with envy power that she had heard and accidentally met before. Hilda, why are you sabotaging my power of love and making everyone hate me so? Well, it's because your appearance and the power of love are the sources of everyone's alienation from me. You have been loved by them since you were born, and I am the opposite. That's not it. Although we can't choose our status, I believe we all have the right to choose our own way of life, and as long as you act friendly with people, they will definitely give you the opportunity to show off. <laughs> Hilda thought back to her past, and realized that she was also the one who exaggerated her feelings, so she was shown. <laughs> However, she didn't want to believe it, and denied it. No, it's not like that. I always suffer from everyone's gossip, so, for sure, I must gain the power of love and make you suffer from my current woes. Then Hilda used her dark powers to control Edna, despite her efforts to resist. Even Hilda shot mercilessly, destroying Edna's bow of love. No! Ah! Edna was heartbroken to see the bow broken. Her body gradually exhausted and passed out. Well, it would be a pity to leave these fragments behind. I will put them away, hopefully when I'll use them. <laughs> Afterward, Hilda collected the fragments and brought Edna back to the Dark Witch. <laughs> when Edna awoke, she found herself in the Dark Witch's house and heard a familiar voice beside her. I brought Edna here as I said. Please quickly swap our powers. Okay, let's see. However, <laughs> when the Dark Witch reached Edna, she quickly used her magic to restrain Hilda. <laughs> what are you doing? Why are you tying me up like this? Do you think that a witch like me would keep my promise to oh. fairies? If it weren't for the fact that I could use you to get revenge on the senior, the king and the queen, I would have punished you from the moment I met you for your rudeness. Besides, you already know so much about me. I can't let you leave here. Just wait until I get the magic book and I'll take care of both of you. <laughs> Obnoxious! Despite Hilda's displeasure, the witch quickly left to get her things to carry out her upcoming escape plan and destroy the fairy. Huh? Hilda, now I have a way to help you get atonement and defeat her. Do you agree to work with me? Is it, is it possible? And when did you wake up? This is not important. If you agree to join forces, then give me your hand. Although Hilda half believed and half doubted, they had reached the end, so they were forced to exchange these final beliefs. Edna tried to transfer her love energy to Hilda, causing her envious power to gradually change color. However, the witch suddenly turned around and used her dark power to break the bond between the two. However, because Hilda had not yet received the full power of love, Edna was ready to cover for her. Surprised by the princess's sacrifice, Hilda unleashed the power of love and darkness around her body to shoot at the Dark Witch. It's too dangerous! She already has in her both the power of love and darkness. If that's the case, then I have to use this way. With that in mind, the witch pulled Edna to her side and used her to cover. Release Edna! If not, I will... Will what? Now that Edna is in my hands, you can no longer defeat me! <laughs> Hilda, hurry and attack the Dark Witch! Otherwise, I and all the people in the Fairyland will be annihilated! But Edna is the only one who doesn't abandon me when I'm in trouble and despair, so I definitely won't hurt you. As soon as she finished speaking, the pieces of the Bow of Love behind Hilda suddenly glowed, shining directly at the witch, causing her to panic. 
Taking that opportunity, Edna ran towards Hilda and joined her forces, shooting the magic arrow at the Dark Witch. No! It can't be! Finally, with the power of unity, Edna and Hilda defeated the Dark Witch.